Do you know what biomedical science actually is, and why shall we care? I imagine that you would most likely associate biomedical sciences with medicine. That is not at all wrong, but in what way? Indeed, biomedical science is largely about the science of the human body. Science is a word that I imagine would not be unfamiliar to any of you. Science is basically how we could describe and to make sense of our physical world on the basis of evidence. There is an ultimate aim in biomedical science, and that is to understand why and how human diseases may arise, and hence to take charge of our physical well-being in our own hands, so that one day humans could be freed from the threats of most, if not all, serious diseases or pathological disorders. About 15 years ago, scientists had succeeded in compiling the full book of human beings that is written on our chromosomal DNA. In containing all the instructions for a fertilized human egg to develop from a single cell through the stage of that of a fetus, a child, and then to an adult, long before the completion of the book of human beings, or the human genome project, as it is called, scientists have found out ways of improving one's health with the use of chemical compounds occurring in nature. The replacement of organs like heart, liver, and kidney. Is another triumph of biomedical science. These victories in biomedical science research had, in many cases, either lengthened or saved the lives of many people. The practical social benefits offered by achievements of biomedical research lead many people to conclude that it is the adequacy of knowledge that represents the bottleneck of materializing the goals of biomedical science. It is, however, also increasingly clear. That the premise that knowledge is everything we need to safeguard our physical well-being is an oversimplification. It turns out that the new knowledge will create new problems, and that biomedical knowledge alone is not sufficient for our purpose of improving humans' physical health. Biomedical knowledge, therefore, is not the only tool that we need to solve the problem. Of safeguarding our physical health, what are the other tools that we need? This is what our course is about. In this course, we will explore if understanding our physical self is synonymous with understanding how to safeguard our physical well-being. You will discover that the issue with safeguarding and improving our physical well-being is simply not a monodisciplinary issue. Instead, The whole issue of combating natural threats of our physical well-being extends well beyond the boundaries of biomedical science. Finding ways to combat threats of our physical health is like playing a very peculiar puzzle. We all have the experience that as the fragments of a puzzle are being put together, the final assembly will become more and more easy to form. When we try to solve the puzzle of safeguarding our physical health, we will find that as the pieces are put together, the identification of the next piece to fit to the growing pattern will be, in many cases, getting more and more difficult. In this course, we will describe this very peculiar puzzle to you with the use of a series of biomedical breakthroughs that have been recognized with the highest scientific honor. With these monumental discoveries as examples, we wish you would witness, in the retrospective sense, how knowledge is formed. Next, you will see how knowledge, when being used as tools to solve our problems of physical health, has uncovered issues that all along have been hiding away from us. We hope that at the conclusion of this course, you would have gained some new knowledge in specific areas of biomedical science. How the knowledge has came about, and most important of all, that in real life there is perhaps never a problem that is purely of an issue of science or humanities, or well, you name it, but a mixture of everything.